A dramatic and tragic event unfolded outside a New York court where former U.S. President Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial was underway. Max Azzarello, a 37-year-old man described by authorities as a conspiracy theorist, set himself on fire in a shocking act that left onlookers horrified. Azzarello, who traveled from Florida to New York for the trial, distributed pamphlets promoting conspiracy theories before dousing himself in an accelerant and igniting the flames. Despite efforts to save him, Azzarello succumbed to his injuries after being rushed to the hospital. Authorities stated that there was no indication Azzarello was targeting Trump or anyone else involved in the trial. Rather, his actions seemed to be driven by his beliefs as a conspiracy theorist. Witnesses described the scene as disturbing, with Azzarello burning for several minutes before the fire was extinguished. Prior to the incident, Azzarello had published an online manifesto detailing his views on what he called an apocalyptic fascist world coup. He criticized various aspects of the political landscape, including cryptocurrency and Ponzi schemes, without directly mentioning Trump. However, he was seen protesting outside the courthouse days before his self-immolation, holding a sign that suggested Trump's involvement in a fascist coup. Azzarello's manifesto also delved into his theories about government deception and the manufactured division between Democrats and Republicans. In a document titled, I have set myself on fire outside the Trump trial, he apologized for the pain his actions caused while emphasizing the urgency of his message about the impending fascist coup. Public records revealed that Azzarello, a registered Democrat, had a history of posting conspiracy theories and engaging in erratic behavior. He had been arrested multiple times in Florida, including for incidents involving Bill Clinton memorabilia and disruptive behavior at a hotel. Despite attempting to sue Clinton and others in a conspiracy-laden case, it was swiftly dismissed by the court. Reports suggested that Azzarello had spent time in a psychiatric ward prior to his arrests, shedding light on his mental state leading up to the tragic event outside the courthouse.